a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, we have never had a sushi chef in my Kitchen Stadium before. Sushi is perhaps one of the most sensitive of cuisines. The natural flavor of the ingredients must be preserved. But nothing can beat a truly well-prepared sushi. So I suddenly felt the urge to invite a sushi maestro in to battle against my iron chefs. And I chose this man, who I feel is more than up to the task. Today's challenger, the top sushi chef in Japan, from Kintaro Zushi, Hiromi Funatsu. Funatsu is the number one sushi chef, having won the most prestigious sushi contest in Japan. This contest is held only once every five years. Last time, 300 finalists from all over Japan competed in handling, finishing, and decoration of sushi. Funatsu's sushi, in addition to the beauty of the finish, was completely unique in presentation. Funatsu seemed destined to become a sushi chef. He was born into a family of fishermen in Nagasaki. And on his father's fishing boat, season after season, he learned the flavors of the very freshest seafood. So he came to Tokyo wanting to become a sushi chef and joined Kintaro Zushi in Asakusa. With his training in fish almost already completed as a boy, it took little time for others to notice his talent. Funatsu is known for his speed and accuracy. The skill of leaving fine air pockets in the rice was there even from his younger days. The owner of the restaurant quickly noticed that and made him head chef at 33. And in the national contest, he clinched the champion's title in Japan. I have confidence in the presentation of my sushi, the color scheme and balance especially. I have confidence, yes. He tells me he always conjures up the ocean when making sushi, trying to capture the heart of the sea in his dishes. But Funatsu's creations go beyond the classic textbook of Edo-style sushi. He has become a master of sensitive and decorative forms. He brings elegance and artistic flair to his work, and no one beats him in technique or genre. I really believe sushi is a form of art. Funatsu's sensitive fingers transform fresh fish into artistic sushi creations. In the world of sushi chefs, nobody wants to be pitted against him in competition. He seems to have the knack of knowing what it takes to win a contest. Now, Funatsu, show us your God-given fingers and preserve the pride of Edo-style sushi chefs. As a sushi chef, I want to win.
It certainly should be quite a battle today here in Kitchen Stadium. We've got a sushi chef taking part, our very first one. And Dr. Hatori, what do you think we can expect today? Well, depending on the ingredient, this ought to be very interesting. All right. Well, I know you're fired up. Look forward to your commentary today. Thank you. All right. Now, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. このキッチンスタジアムに全日本寿司技術コンクールで優勝した日本一の寿司職人。不安がないと言えば嘘になるかもしれません。しかし、彼の腕を信じ、思い切ってやってもらおうではありませんか。さあ、皆さん、大きな拍手でお迎えください。日本一の寿司職人、船津ひろみ。Alright, the country's champion sushi chef with 30 years of artistic sushi creations under his belt. The chairman may be worried, but Funatsu comes in confident he'll walk out with a win. 今更の言うのもなんですが、本当に大丈夫でしょうか。I'll their ascent and assuming their rightful places in Kitchen Stadium are the men who've made their mark defending their honor here on this cooking battlefield. The men who dominate the culinary landscape of Japan, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. Washoku Chuka French. シーテイエバ和食があなたの敵になるはずですが、さあ誰と戦う？フレンチサカイさん。Whoa, well, surprise choice, Sakai. Cross cuisine battling it'll be with Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. He among the first to fuse formal Japanese cooking techniques with French recipes, and for his artistic use of color and presentation in his works, Sakai is known as the Delacroix of French cuisine. Today, going against a sushi chef, theme ingredient could be crucial. それでは、テーマの発表に移ります。実は、今回のテーマとなるある素材を我が美食アカデミーの新メンバーがはるか四国から運んできてくれました。まず、その人物を紹介しましょう。高知県知事、橋本大志郎! さあ、高知からわざわざ運んできてくれた。もうお分かりでしょう。今がちょうど旬。寿司職人にとってはもってこいの素材かもしれません。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。Bonito. If my memory serves me correctly, the fisherman in Kochi Prefecture told me that the best part of Bonito is behind the silver. Silver is fisherman's jargon for skin, and the underneath of the skin is best loaded as it is with fat. The first catch of the season is usually less fatty, and thus the skin is always left on when the fish is cooked or even seared. This ensures that the fat underneath the skin penetrates other parts of the fillet and gives you a marvelous flavor. If you want to enjoy the first bonito of the season, I repeat, eat behind the silver. 
An incredible matchup coming our way. The sushi of challenger Finatsu versus the French cooking of Iron Chef Sakai, who's got his work cut out for him with Bonito as the theme ingredient. We shall see if the sushi champ can take that theme today and run with it for a victory. Out of Kaisen! All right, bang a gong, we are on a matchup made to order for Kitchen Stadium. Only possible place you could see it, sushi versus French cuisine. As the men now up at the stand going over and selecting the very fresh Benito caught in waters off Kochi Prefecture in Shikoku, Governor Hashimoto bringing the fish in. And for Sakai, might be a little tricky today for him to navigate his way through, Doc. Oh, definitely, yeah. And how about these fish? Oh, well, speaking of Benitos, I mean, the season, as I mentioned, just started, and both chefs could be using these already. I think the key word for today is variety. All right, we shall look for that. And now we'd also like to welcome to our announcing table, it's an honor to introduce the Governor of Kochi Prefecture, Daijiro Hashimoto. Thank you for joining us today, Governor. I'm the one and only. Okay, <laughs> and thanks for bringing in the fish. Uh, what's your favorite way of enjoying Benito? Well, in Kochi, tataki style is the most popular. Lightly broiled sashimi. Now, even at New Year's time, it's a must-have item. Really? It's not in season, but we must have it on the table. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, but you'd have to have more than just the basic tataki style, right? <laughs> you got that right. All right, we'll see how sh both chefs go about it. And now here, Iron Chef's side's got some uh, heads. Yep. Barbecuing the heads of the fish. Yeah, I can see that, but I'm wondering what that's going to be for. Char broiling the heads and some fins? It could be for a broth or, you know, maybe dumping it into a soup. Okay. And let's swing back now over to the challenger side. Finance is doing some handheld gas grilling there. Yeah. Trying to get a charred surface to that long piece. Yeah, well, that's the classic way of making pataki-style sashimi. Yes, and the pre-bout comments, Fanatsu telling us even though it's a totally new challenge for him with the 60-minute time limit, he's going to give it his best. That's great. And now cooling that down in, in water there. Mm -hmm. This is how it's done? Yeah, you're right. It actually constricts the flesh when you do that. Okay, and there is a flatfish, I believe. Uh, you're right. Flatfish or sole? Yeah, basically the same, but in Japan, they distinguish it by the location of the eyes, left eye or right. And so this one here is... It's um, hirami, a sole. In hirame. Japan, yeah. It's a pretty big one at that, too. So Fanatsu's already introduced another fish into the equation. We'll attempt as best we can to distinguish them as he proceeds. Challenger slicing into his hirame and the Iron Chef chopping away at the bonito. Yeah, I think this is probably for a super broth. Okay, so barbecuing before making the broth with these then. Yeah, I, I think so. It'd be uh, like dropping an easy pop-up, well, actually. Don't do that. <laughs> but, Governor, you're the bonito expert. Make a broth with that? Oh, well, like he said, it's probably for making a broth. And bonito is the most widely used fish for that uh, purpose. So um, I'm going to go second with what Hattori san said. Well, how, how about yourself? Do you enjoy cooking? Well, when I was younger, with a bit more time, I sometimes helped out in the kitchen, but now with the family in the prefecture... Well, <laughs> Everyone in Kochi knows full well how much of a family man you are. And, oh, there's Mrs. Hashimoto. She's here up in the royal box and looks like she's Kusan. enjoying the occasion today. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, here's some of the ingredients that the Iron Chef is preparing on his side. He's chosen yuzu, which is a strong-flavored citrus fruit that's slightly larger than a lime, garlic, shallots, scallops, potatoes, and oranges. Mm -hmm. And what he's done so far is he's grated the skins or the yuzu and orange peels, which you see in the uh, small bowl there. Okay. And in the larger one, he's used the fruit of the oranges to make fresh-squeezed orange juice. All right, thanks, Ota. Okay, I'm... I think that's probably for curing or marinating something. Okay, a marinated dish that sounds good. And whoa, check it out. Oh. Got some slices ready for sushi. Yeah, turning the kitchen into a sushi bar. When it comes to making sushi, no other way to put it, he is the man. Hiromi Finatsu, and look at him finesse that. Maybe the hirame there. 30 years of experience, a national sushi champion, and yes, the, the hirame? Yeah, that's uh, the sole that we okay, saw, I think. Okay, doing what he does best. And looking at the size of those slices, it tells me he's going to make something... Maybe kind of decorative. Decorative style. Yeah, kind of an artistic All touch. All right, now over to the Iron Chef side, Benito getting some treatment there. And Ota said that he was grating orange peel or something, so I think maybe that's it. No, orange or yuzu. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. and we are right on that. And, you know, just off the top, though, I can't think of any French dish or recipe that uses bonito, Doc. Uh, that's true, but uh, there's something rather surprising, that uh, tataki-style sashimi was actually originated by a French chef who came over to Japan. Okay, but what I mean is you'd never get bonito at a French restaurant. That's true. Oh, you see that? I got it right. Okay, Iron Chef's pot, okay. <laughs> Doc, All right, finally, right. Talking about that man you. a cigar. Put on. 
<laughs> yes. Just a quick side note about the challenger here. When we asked him his thoughts on the theme ingredient, he told us before the unveiling he thought it was going to be something completely different. He says, I guessed wrong, and now I don't know what I'm doing. Huh? <laughs> thought he was going to get something else from among the several possibilities, and that has messed him up, Ota? That's right. Okay, but he seems to be chugging right along, working out a pretty good clip there. And it looks like his tataki-style dish is almost done, right, Doc? Yeah, it does look that way. Okay, and now the Iron Chef here. Fifteen minutes have he left. Benito here? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Benito, it's minced, right? Okay, 15 minutes gone in the battle. Cuisan? Yes. I also asked the Iron Chef what he thinks of the Benito, and he said, well, to t tell you the truth, I'm not that familiar with this fish, so I'll be relying on some really good, well-known recipes that are popular. Popular, well-known recipes. Right. Okay, so the Iron Chef indeed a bit theme-challenged with the Benito today. And here... Um, scallops, I scallops, believe. Scallops, Adam, yeah. with the mulch of Benito together, and now Funatsu has added something to that, to the, his oh, tataki. Yeah, okay. Garlic? Garlic, yeah. And then that's very classic. It's a tried and, and true way of doing this fish. Right, simple, but a great way of enjoying the natural flavor of Benito, and that is... Just looking at that kickstarts the appetite. Right, and Hashimoto, you use garlic like that in kochi as well, right? Uh, yes, exactly. Large slices of garlic like that. So in kochi, stinking of garlic in public is not impolite. <laughs> okay. Well, if you don't mind, neither do I. <laughs> Garlic's, you know, smells gotten a bad rap, and that's a good ethic you guys have down there. Japan, sushi champ, even if he said he was confused, given a friendly theme ingredient, and he's taking it to the Iron Chef French. Kind of like a, today our battle, sort of like a judoist going against a boxer. <laughs> and now Sakai here cutting off the filleted pieces of Benito and laying them down into that pan. Yeah, and the question is what he'll be combining these with, though. Quite thin slices here. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, and that's why I think he won't be cooking these somehow. He would not cook these. Right, if you cook slices that thin, they kind of turn flaky. Maybe, how about giving them a smoke treatment like uh, salmon? Hey, that's not a bad idea at all. Uh, probably leaning more to the carpaccio side but he might actually smoke it lightly. Hey, good carpaccio point. sounds good, too. Mm. Cuisan? Yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef has now combined some of the ingredients that I told you about in an earlier report. First, he minced the scallops and bonito together, then mixed in Chinese hot bean paste, garlic, shallots, egg yolks, and chives, and now he's taken that whole mixture and is chilling it in the refrigerator. Back to you. All right. Mm. Now, let's... Uh, okay, uh, here oh, we go. Sushi making. Oh, doesn't that look sweet? Cuisan? Yes. The Iron Chef has now combined some of the ingredients that I told you about in an earlier report. First, he minced the scallops and bonito together, then mixed in Chinese hot bean paste, garlic shallots, egg yolks, and chives. And now he's taken that whole mixture and is chilling it in the refrigerator. Wow. Mm. Back to you. Challenger Hiromi Funatsu really going to town on that one. Okay, here we go. Oh. Sushi making. Oh, doesn't that look sweet? Wouldn't you just like to pop that one in right now? We are watching a master at work, the top sushi chef in the country, and with all the accumulated smarts he's acquired over a career dating back more than 30 years, the first sushi chef to make it here in Kitchen Stadium, and it's a treat watching him in action today. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Hashimoto-san, when you, when you go to a sushi bar, it's not just the food and the beer, the sake. You also like to see the chefs do their thing, put their skills on display right before your eyes. Absolutely. I firmly believe that a chef's skill is critical to making good sushi. Yes, got to be quick. Got to have a sensitive touch at the same time. And Fanatz has got both in spades, I'd say. And this technique that we're seeing here is called kotegashi. And this guy is extremely quick. Hmm. And to be able to do this the way he's doing it, that's at least 10 years of training. 10 years to get to that level. All right, now in slow mo. Now, the technique again is? Kote gaishi. Okay. Yeah, and it's see how he flips it like that? Okay, got to have slow mo to see that. <laughs> uh, what about any novice sushi makers at home? Could they pick up on this? Absolutely impossible. Okay. <laughs> and now over the Iron Chef side. Uh, this is what I was thinking would be a carpaccio, but, you know, you never okay, know. Okay, wrapping it in a plastic wrap. Yeah, probably going to chill it for a while. Okay, put it in the fridge. Oh, maybe not. Oh, in fact, he's going to stretch them some more. That's to make a carpaccio. Okay, you're, you're calling it now, huh? Yeah. yeah okay, definitely. and a carpaccio, flattening them out there. Any old bottle will do for that? <laughs> Doesn't have to be anything specific, no. 30 okay. minutes have elapsed. Yes. We just watched Iron Chef Sakai using a bottle technique to flatten the fish meat, but he said, no, 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 I couldn't find a hammer or a mallet to hit it with, so I just grabbed anything, and it just happened to be a bottle. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't even have to be a bottle, I guess. You know, I tell you, sometimes we're trying to find significance in here where there just isn't any, you know? Anyway, it goes to prove just how well the Iron Chef can make do in the kitchen.
And uh, now we are into the second half of this battle. Great. Theme ingredient finito. Challenger Finatsu continuing to pile up the sushi there. He's got, looks like, four types. Oh, man. And again, the theme Benito. The other pieces won't count for the scoring of the dishes, just the ones with Benito will. So no matter how appealing, how delicious the other sushi items turn out to be, for the purposes of this battle, they're just a side dish, a side item. They won't count in the scoring. Exactly. But it's not the theme, but there could be a method to his madness here. Okay, probably knows full well what he is doing here. Perhaps by eating some different pieces of sushi before the Benito, you enhance the experience of the one which has the Benito? That could very well be. That's sounds a good about, point. Sounds like that could fly. I think you're hitting the nail right on the head. Okay, there. and now over here, Iron Chef Sakai. And uh, okay, sorry, not a carpaccio. My apologies. Uh, he's got something inside there. <laughs> uh, the minced items he had earlier. Yeah, wrapping mm, that up. That, you know. Yeah, some okay. herbs and other things. Uh, now, Liz, Governor, have you ever had anything like this dish that uh, Iron Chef Sakai is making? No, never. I hmm. think this will taste just amazing, though. Is he going to serve it as it is? Oh, I believe so. Just a, an as-is item, yeah. Without steaming or anything. Mm. Today's fish is, like, very sensitive to heat, and, mm -hmm. you know, you want good food, right? So. <laughs> All right. Now, take a look here. The stuff inside, scallops and bonito, minced and down onto a layer of thin bonito slices, and now... A, it's rolled over, the edge is rolled yeah. over. Yeah, it's going to be a, a great match there. When you flip it over and, and you wrap it all up, amazing. Looks good. What do you think, Governor? I should say so. Oh, amazing. A double dose of Benito in that one. It's like a dumpling in a bean curd bag almost. All right, now swinging back to the Challenger. The man is incredibly skilled. Decorative piece of sushi. Okay, you remember the, the sole, those small sure slices? Sure do, yep. And we said that was for decorative sushi. I think this is meant to look like a flower. Yes, it sure does. I, I wonder what flower it's supposed to be. Well, I, I won't take a guess. <laughs> Leave it, I'm not a flower type guy. Leave it to the imagination of the viewers. And into the second half now, Fanatsu working up the sweat, wiping the brow there. Now, I hope he does the same using like bonito slices. Now, that would also help him out in the scoring department. Mm -hmm. Now he's got some salmon row there, some yeah, intricate... Some work uh, yeah, exactly. on this sushi item. Unbelievable. I've never seen a sushi chef with such a delicate touch. Close quarters work there. Using salmon row as a decorative item. It's beautiful. Incredible. Croissant. Now, look at Sakai right here. Oh, to hold on a second. Standing by. Okay, the Iron Chef frying up some bonito slices. Yeah, pan frying it. Okay, Oto, what do you have? Yeah, thank you. I just wanted to report that I asked the Iron Chef how many dishes he's preparing, and his reply was, I think I'll stick with a solid set of three. I'm going for quality, not quantity, within the given time frame, and three dishes is my limit today. All right, okay. taking the words right out of my mouth. Quality, not quantity, the hallmark, and one of the three will include the sautéed bonito. Uh, yeah, I think that's a given. Maybe to finish with the sauce? Yeah, and I think that's what he's going to be working on from this point on. Okay, and it's resting in an opened oven, and oh, oh my, look at the size of that dish. Wow, that is gorgeous. Wow, oh man, the champ is getting us ready for a feast of sushi, a sushi fest, if you will. He's got the tataki-style sashimi in the center, right there, shallots and all kinds of good things covering that, and then around it, numerous types of sushi, decorative, colorful, I'm sure tasty as well. <laughs> Just one thing, though, especially for sushi, I wonder, it could go dry, lose some of its freshness if it's finished too early and has to sit for a while here before the pieces are eaten, right? Yeah, very good point. I mean, maybe he's peaking a little early on this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Kusan, yes. Yeah, while we're on the subject of the challenger, I asked him why he's concentrating so much on sushi, which is pretty much all he's got at the moment, and his comment was basically no comment. But he did <laughs> say that he plans to prepare even more dishes after this. All right, so he's going to finish up with the sushi and then spend the remaining time on another yeah, dish. And now look at this. Oh, look at the way he's doing it. Yes, uh, scraping the meat off with a spoon. Yeah, that's to get the meat uh, from between the bones. And that part is very good. And he's, you can see the scraping the meat right off the bone there. This is the best part? Uh, well, at least I like it. So. All right. <laughs> Man who knows what he likes. Now as Sakai is on to his artwork here. Okay, and he's got, boy, there's uh, a lot of things in there. There's mm -hmm. enoki mushrooms. Um, right. A lot of color there. And right? yes, the color quotient. Is it high enough? No. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. With those plates and the fixings going down, a very bold approach by Sakai. The Delacroix of French cuisine. Look at him. He's working up a sweat, too. To go. 15 minutes left now. The last quarter, we're into it. The Iron Chef French sliding over from his cooking side to his artistic presentation. I think he'll be placing the pan-fried bonito slices around this. Oh, yeah, that would work. Good call on that now. The challenger. I wonder what he's up to with this. He's completed that most impressive plate of sushi. Now adding this. Uh, white miso. Okay, and what does that tell you? 
Uh, maybe he's thinking about uh, Navarro. Okay, and take and would take that where? Well, that's you mince the fish and mix it with miso. Sometimes you grill that. Never as heard well. of that recipe. Actually, fishermen do it right on their right on their ships, so it might be something along okay. those lines. Well, as Ota reported earlier, I think the word was confused. He said about ending up with Benito. Yeah, right. Uh, maybe he was trying to sandbag us there. His dishes seem more than okay to me <laughs> so I'd far. Definitely like to be able to try them. If we can take a look, look at the Iron Chef here now. All right, let's try the, there. Uh, the sauteed, Sakai laying them down. Yeah, the sautéed ones here. I thought he'd put them around, but it's actually going on top. Well, here. close enough. Still looks fine. The flavors will be combined. But the next question is, uh, what happens with the sauce? Yes, with his wonderful finishing sauces, we will see what he's got in store. And now back with Funatsu. This would be a great dish with uh, sake. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, I asked the challenger what he's making now, and once again, he seems to be so absorbed in his work and his mind so focused that he doesn't seem to hear me either that or he's completely ignoring me, one of the two. Uh, once again, no comment and no information. Too busy to rap to you? Hmm. All right. Well, we can make out the beads of perspiration there. Perspiration mixed with inspiration for this guy who's fighting on behalf of all sushi chefs across the nation. Fukuzan! Yes? I asked the challenger what he's making now, and once again he seems to be so absorbed in his work, and his mind so focused, that he doesn't seem to hear me, either that or he's completely ignoring me, one of the two. And once again, no comment and no information. Too busy to rap to you. Hmm. All right, well, we can make out the beads of perspiration, perspiration mixed with inspiration for this guy who's fighting on behalf of all sushi chefs from across the nation. And now, what's he on to? More filleting late in the game? He's probably going to try to make another dish then. All right, so with one more, that would make four mm -hmm. dishes, trying to pull off a fourth dish here in the late going. So I think I see what he's doing here. His strategy was to work on what he does best first, mm -hmm. like the sushi. Right, you get know, that out of the way. Right, and then work on the other. So it's it's like building a fortress. You build the outer walls first and then start working on the Good on the game interior. planning, that approach. And it works well as far as time management goes, okay. too. Okay, wanted to make certain he'd have that sushi set done, that deluxe set of sushi. Mm. And now we'll see him let loose on the fly. Exactly, right. We'll see how we can pull off the rest of these dishes now. Kind of like a bonus dish here. Ten minutes to go. All right, ten minutes left. Challenger Fanatsu still filleting the panito for another dish. And looks like he's keeping the skin here, too. And the skin of this fish is very good. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was wondering which one of these two guys would choose to work with the skin. I always like to see that being done. And you can see him right there with it. Okay, Governor, the, the skin, it's that good? Honestly, I haven't eaten much. Hmm. Uh, well, bonito skin is very good when you know when cooked, of course. Of course. And here now, uh, hey, potato chi chips. Potato <laughs> chips, but not anything you'd pull out of a bag. Looks like no. they've been uh, dipped in butter and coated there. Yeah. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, I'm told the potato chips are being flavored with parsley. Parsley. Okay, oh. got it. And now. Funatsu slicing up the skin. And again, the skin, the flavor-wise, is so nice. And actually, the, the texture is very good, too. And, you know, using this, he's, he's my kind of guy. All right. Shreds of Benito skin right there. I was hoping one of them would actually get around to this. So you're kind of really, guy. I I'm like pleased. that. Yeah, this okay. is going to be so good. And look at his blade work, the strokes in rapid succession as he's hunkered down right over that. Now the Iron Chef chips going with the Benito roll. Oh, oh isn't that pretty? Chips could pass for the petals of a flower, maybe, huh? Yeah, and it'll give you the crispy texture, of course. Too, so, so nice. And another colorful pres presentation by Iron Chef Sakai, filling it up. And now to the challenger side, there was something else added in, but we can't... I, I think probably oh. scallions. Okay, so likely some kind of salad? Yeah, a salad. Okay, Benito salad using the skin, uh, which will work to clear the theme ingredient this requirement. This will be so great. And this, will want to hear the panel's reaction to it. Mm. The salad with the skin, and now the Iron Chef laying down the sauce oh, okay. over his sautéed Benito creation. Yeah, what a well, sauce. What type of sauce is this? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Okay, but with his sauces getting to the heart of French cuisine. And the, the minced items there are carrots, maybe, and shallots, I think, some ginger. Okay. I don't think we've seen the entire thing yet. Hmm, all this right. the whole process, so. Okay, but boy, that looks... Good, up close on that one. Yeah. We're hearing some chopping noise from the challenger side. Oh, got some natto. Yes, they are giving that a good work over. Natto and another mulch in there. Yeah, you can see some chopped up bonito in there okay, as well. Okay, yes. And some scallions. I think so, right? So I think he's going to blend them together. They Actually, they do this a lot with tuna. Hmm. Ah. Right. So it's uh, bonito and natto appetizer. So this would make a fifth dish, I believe. And suddenly he's getting way up there in uh, numbers. Okay, yeah. the sushi, the tataki-style sashimi, mm -hmm. salad, oh, the one with the miso. 
Fanatsu, and then here, the five moment to Nacho, and now five minutes left. Fanatsu working on a fifth dish. Incredible. Yeah, and I really enjoy going to his sushi bar, so the next time I'm going to have him make some of these for me. We are in the last five minutes, and uh, wow, of a bonito battle, Sakai and Fanatsu and Governor Hashimoto. Yes. Well, what do you think so far? Which chef, in your view, appears to be... Uh, in control or winning this thing? Well, the challenger is trying to take full advantage of all the raw flavors, right. while yes. Iron Chef is doing a lot of different things. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try their dishes. <laughs> okay. Well, you'll do that later in the tasting. I, I'm really interested to see how far the Iron Chef is on his, uh, his soup Right, there. he did have that soup. Yeah, so if we can get a shot of the soup. Uh, it's a soup de poisson, uh, using fish cutoffs, making broth, putting fillets in them, things like okay. that. Okay, yeah. and you know what? Over on the challenger side, there is still more Benito being cut up here. <laughs> I noticed uh, that. If he can complete this one, that would be six dishes. I, uh, I wonder if we have enough plates in here for that. <laughs> yes. I mentioned to the challenger that he does have some time, and he said, yeah, I know, but I can't think of anything else that I can do that I can make that quickly. Then his eyes lit up, and he said, oh, I can make miso soup. All right, he's got enough time to do that. Oh, okay. Looking at about six dishes, including a soup to counter Sakai's. And Benito goes very very well with miso. Right. Mm -hmm. And miso actually helps get rid of a fishy smell, so this would be good. Okay, and now back to Sakai, and he's got a mixer over that over the soup those, there. Yeah, portable blenders Okay, almost. this yeah. is his soup, I'd Kusa. have to say. Yes. Yeah. In this soup, there is no miso, but there is bonito broth, fresh cream, exo Chinese sauce, and fond de veau or veal broth. Back to you. Man wow. alive, what an unusual <laughs> mix of ingredients. Fresh cream, veal broth, exo paste. What kind of flavor, Doc, could he that end would up be, with there? That would be known as a very complicated flavor. <laughs> All, right. All right, safe answer. Complex. Maybe a cream of bonito. We are into the last minute now. 60 seconds left. Challenger Fanatsu, he's really jacked up the pace in the last several minutes, trying to finish a sixth dish. It would be if he can make that. There's a scan of the dishes on his side. Now ladling out his miso soup. They're going to get that one down and done in time, Doc. Yeah, he's got a lot of it there. Has he ever? Unbelievable. But remember, it's not the number of dishes you have. It's the flavor of the ones you finish. And the right. Iron Chef now, his creamy, fresh bonito soup with broth based on barbecued bonito heads. We've got dueling soups right Ten now that the men are go. finishing up. Iron Chef Sakai, quality, not quantity. That will have to Five work seconds. for him today, handling this theme Three, ingredient. Fanatsu, he's done one. on his side. The final seconds tick down, and that's it. The bonito battle is over. Wow, you were on fire out there. How was that? I was scrambling. That was my best. All right. How did your dishes turn out today? Uh, my dishes? Uh -huh. I did my best. It's up to the judges. All right. To me, bonito's not an everyday thing. Right. I didn't try to be too creative today. Simple, yet I perfected uh, three dishes. That's all. Challenger Fanatsu completed six dishes. First, bonito skin salad. The boiled bonito skin is chewy and tasty, with the taste accentuated by the use of white scallions. Natto and minced bonito. Bonito, not tuna, with the natto acting to soften the flavor of the sometimes overpowering fish. Bonito namero, created by scraping off the meat from around the spine and blending it with white miso. Broiled bonito sashimi, a powerful celebration of bonito. The flavor is accentuated by the charred skin for this lightly cooked filet. Benito Sushi, a straight-ahead, no-frills approach giving rise to the natural flavor of Benito. This one is simple, but it's part of his very decorative deluxe set of sushi. And last, Benito Miso Soup, which he managed to complete using cutoffs for the broth. On the other side, Iron Chef Sakai finished with three dishes. First, Benito Tartare with caviar using minced panito and scallops wrapped in sliced panito. A slightly Chinese touch is added to the starter by his use of XO sauce. Panito soup with asparagus. The broth is simply superb, using char-broiled panito heads and fins. The creamy soup contains panito meat and asparagus. And last, sautéed panito, ginger flavor. It's sautéed in olive oil. The fresh aroma of ginger suppresses the fishy smell, while at the same time enhancing the natural flavor of the fish. A champion sushi chef, the best in the country, creative, artistic, and packing a flavorful punch. 
the first sushi chef ever in Kitchen Stadium with 30 years experience behind the counter. Today's challenger, Hiromi Funatsu. His call and he opts for a cross-cuisine battle against Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient in season and fresh from off Kochi Prefecture, Bonito. A deluxe set of sushi is the centerpiece of Challenger Funatsu's six dishes. Iron Chef Sakai will try to win the panel's favor with the flavor of his three. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Benito battle are Kochi Governor Daijiro Hashimoto, actress Mai Kitajima, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Funatsu. Oh, I like this. It's good. Arranging Bonita's skin into a salad like this is very interesting. You have the experience to accentuate the best parts of the ingredients. I also had this for the first time. It's very good. I think I'll have to recommend it to my chefs down in my prefecture. Bonito has an overpowering taste. But when combined with natto, another strong element, they seem to match quite well. But it still lacks one more element in my view. This one, unlike the previous natto dish, really draws out the good flavor of bonito. It's very good, I think. Bonito swims around in shallow waters, and its meat is rather soft. That means the rule of thumb is to enjoy it in thicker slices if you want us to feel what Bonito is really about. This is really good. Great. Um, I'm out of words. Yeah, this is Bonito. Really, it's melting in my mouth. Yes, it's the most orthodox and best way. Making six dishes in a time of 60 minutes, why, even the thought is mind-boggling and impressive to me. But overall, these were a little too classy for me. Bonito to me is a fish from the rough waves of Kochi, so I was wanting to see some wilder modern dishes mixed in with these classic ones. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. He'll serve his first one after adding the Chinese-flavored sauce. He succeeded in preserving the natural flavor. And yes, it's his usual technique with a load of caviar, which is visual as well. Mm. These are flavors I could not imagine. Watching you make this, my thought was, oh, this will taste like smoked salmon. But uh, smoked salmon cannot compare to how absolutely delicious this dish is. You didn't forget to split the head open to take the broth from it. You've got all the steps down. <laughs> the flavor of the sauce and the vegetables at the bottom all match very well with the uh, bonito. It really works. But I wish you didn't grill the bonito so much. You know, a little more rare would have been nicer, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah? You have opened my eyes to a new array of ways to cook bonito. By bending the rules, you've shown us we don't have to be concerned about the limitations of convention. You have, in a sense, raised the potential of bonito as an ingredient. Benito battle, verdict coming. One of the chefs will be left with a raw taste. Sushi shokunin to French chef no taiketsu. Sono kekka wa... カツオという一つの食材に対する全く異なった二つの解釈を私に教えてくれました。改めて料理の世界の懐深さを教えられたような気がします。それでは発表します。
Today, we welcomed our first sushi chef to Kitchen Stadium. He's also Japan's best. Challenger Funatsu, a staggering set of six Benito dishes. Half that for Iron Chef Sakai, looking to double the flavor to win it for him. Did he make it? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef. My, oh, my. How about that, Sakai? Best. Japan's number one sushi man. He still hasn't lost here. 4 0 now. But boy, was he tested today. Benito against a man of Finazzi's caliber. But it is Sakai putting the squeeze on with the victory. Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai.